So we're really excited that this year sees the creation of the MA in Urban History and Culture with specific focus on Paris and London. This is a new programme which will be welcoming students from all over the world with all sorts of backgrounds to study two of the great cities of world history directly from within the city with lots of different experiences for living and breathing the culture and the history of their, of their chosen objects of study. Now why Paris and London as a choice for, these, for this exciting new programme um, in urban history and culture? Well, Paris and London are two of the great cities of, the, of world history and have evolved in tandem with that push and pull of two close rivals over centuries of their development, looking to the other for both inspiration and also with that sort of anxiety of influence. Now, you know, at times bitter rivals, even full-blown enemies. But today the relations between Paris and London have probably never been better. And there's tremendous opportunities both for student mobility in the first instance, which may well be, will be the mobility of the students on this program, as they at least go to London to visit certain sites and to benefit from the faculty expertise that they can encounter within the vast federation of the University of London and more specifically with colleagues at Mile End at Queen Mary University of London. But also beyond that student of mobility which is an integral fact of this program, today the opportunities for both knowledge transfer and for also thinking about social justice across the national frontiers are, have perhaps never been better and equally never be more important. Students who register on this programme will have that opportunity of moving between two cities, but perhaps again more importantly of moving into the two cities that they'll be studying. Our programme has this really important focus on the notion of encounter. You will study Paris from within the city, um, right down at street level through a series of site visits. Most of the work in the first semester is organised around the idea of going out and trying to immerse yourself, drawing the information that you need from the city in order to bring that back into the seminar room and to confront it with the readings that you'll also be doing um, on a regular basis. Now cities are impossible objects really. I mean where to start when studying a city? If you just take the difference between an aerial view versus the street view, if you even take the difference between a transport map and a street map, you'll find that you're looking at completely different things. And that's before you start integrating all of the historical knowledge that's embedded within the shape of buildings, the names of streets, even that slight rise on a street as you're walking along that makes you realise, well, perhaps there was an underground river here before, or perhaps this is the space where there's a kind of a, a, a nexus, a kind of a point of contact in two different lines within the, within the sewer system. And what does that tell you about the way in which the city evolved? So all the time when you're walking the streets, when you're looking up at the buildings, when you're looking at the, at the street signs trying to get your orientation, you will in fact be drawing information from the very structure of the city. When students join this programme, they won't just be seeing cities as something that has evolved over time, understanding the sedimentation of the history within the city. They'll certainly be doing that, but they'll also be looking to the future and there probably, again, is nothing more urgent than thinking intelligently and creatively and historically about the challenges of urban culture today.